Hey, this is Randy Belker with Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a little bit at uh, virus protection. So this is security on the internet. I want to make sure that you guys, as you're surfing around, you're surfing safely. Uh, real quickly, what a virus is, is basically a small program. It's a malicious program, a mean, evil program, we would say, that someone has um, coded to do something uh, bad to your computer. So as you're out surfing around, this is one of these viruses could actually come in. Uh, if you click on the button, you might be al allowing one of those um, evil programs to come into your computer. And it can do all kinds of nasty things to your computer. It can um, do damage to your hard drive. It can reformat your hard drive. Uh, it can send out emails. Uh, to all the people that are in your email program. Um, it can search around in your computer, try and find uh, credit card numbers, and then email those out to the people who made the program in the first place. There's a lot of nasty things that these viruses can do. We want to absolutely make sure that we have virus protection software um, on your computer. Now, just as many people as are out there trying to come up with these uh, bad programs to break into your computer, there are other people writing software that um, helps you, keeps you protected from this, these different viruses. And we, so we want to make sure that you have virus protection software on your computer. Uh, the most common one, the most popular one is probably uh, Norton Antivirus. It's a program, it's a good program. Um, every year you have to, um, you know, pay them more money. Uh, but basically what they do is they, um, and constantly monitor all the viruses that are out there and uh, set up your computer to automatically go get an update each night on if there are any new viruses, any new malicious programs. Um, and that night, your computer will find out about the new virus and will then be protected. Uh, will be having injected the vaccine, as it were, in your computer. Uh, what it does is it takes a few bits of pieces of code from that virus and um, brings it on your computer and then all the new programs that are coming into your computer it checks and, make, and checks to make sure that none of the new programs that are coming in have any of that code in there as well. Um, so uh, that's basically how Norton works and, and Norton is a fine program. There are, there are free antivirus software programs as well. That's what I recommend. And the one that I use is called Avast. Um, and it's, it's as powerful as Norton, um, but the home edition, if you're just going to be using a home computer to be surfing online, is completely free and it does exactly the same thing. It has um, a daily update of any new uh, virus information that's out there will come to your computer in the middle of the night and uh, your computer, or the next time you turn your computer on, it'll go check and see if there's any new viruses, new information. Uh, to protect your computer from. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Avast. It's A-V-A-S-T. All right, so we'll go ahead and type that in, A-V-A-S-T, uh, in uh, Chrome, and we'll see what Google pops up for us. Uh, here it is, Avast Antivirus. Um, now, the first uh, response uh, that Google shoots back to us is a sponsored link. See what it says right here? Uh, sponsored link. Um, what that means is this is an ad. Someone's paying to put that up there. Uh, we want to go down to the one below that, and this is the Avast website right here. So let's click on that one. Um, now what they're trying to do right here is they're trying to sell you the professional edition. Um, you don't want to purchase the professional. Maybe you do want to purchase it, but right now we're going to install the home edition. Go down a little further and here it is, the home edition. You're just going to get the latest one of whatever it is they have. Click on that. And uh, this is the one that you want. This is free antivirus software with spyware protection of Avast Home Edition. Complete antivirus software for free. All right, so go on down here to this button. It says download. And uh, click on that button. And it will start to download to your computer. Um, now, what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be following the instructions as... Uh, after this downloads, it's going to install itself on your computer. Now, <clears throat> as it's installing itself on your computer, um, it may ask you to uh, restart and reboot your computer. Well, you just, whatever it tells you to do, you just go ahead and do that. You want it to be running 
uh, on your computer from the time you turn your computer on until the time you shut it off. Uh, this is going to be your protection from malicious code that's out there. Um, <clears throat> And I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, you are definitely going to want uh, software protection on your computer before you're surfing very much out there on the internet. Um, because Windows um, XP and Windows Vista are, um, are the primary programs that uh, people who write virus software are, are going after because those are the, the primary computer programs that are in the the vast majority of people have either Windows XP or uh, Windows Vista. So go ahead and download it, install it on your computer. You're probably going to have to reboot your computer back up. Uh, but, but from then on, the uh, software should be running down in your system tray uh, down at the bottom uh, down here. Uh, this is actually what it looks like. It looks like a little A. I'm circling it. And I'll click on it. You can, you can actually click on that. Uh, little a and it'll tell you what's happening with the resident protection scanning inbound mail outbound mail all that kind of stuff so uh, it will just constantly be on um, in your computer uh, all right till next time this has been randy bilker mm -hmm.